David Connors, founder and CEO of The Swarm, and we are building a talent operating system for early stage startups. This is my second startup, and the first time around, I think I spent upwards of 50% of my time on just operations, admin stuff, figuring out HR, legal, finance, and all these things that I had no idea about when I was first getting into being a founder. So the second time around, I knew I wanted to partner with someone who would be able to just take that off my plate. So I guess thinking through the different options, it was either hire someone internally, uh, do everything myself, or using Trello or Asana for project management, um, just otherwise using spreadsheets and trying to just remember stuff off the top of my head. I'd say probably you know, at least 10, maybe up to 20 hours a week uh, from paying contractors, onboarding and setting up new employees and contractors, uh, storing all the documents in my file vault and having just understanding and awareness of all the different compliance stuff. So it's all these things. It's not just stuff you know about. It's all the stuff that's actually underneath the surface that the abstract ops team really understand and will execute for you. You're always going to have invoices to be paid. You're always going to have to manage the different tools and suite you're using. You're always going to have to be storing your documents in a way that's easily accessible, especially as you're going out and fundraising every nine to 18 months. You want to have your documents all easily stored and accessible in one place. And you know, there's no better way to do that. It'd be very painful. At the price point, there's really you know, no one that would be able to find that would be able to provide the same level of professionalism. Um, there'd be a lot more hand-holding and just you know, requirements for my time day to day. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think you know, you're really never too early and you know, it scales up really nicely. Um, there's honestly so much work to be done in the beginning and I would recommend it when you're still in like the co-founders phase before you've started bringing on your founding team, there's only like two or three of you and you get all of your ducks in a row and you get all your documents sorted, get compliant, make sure you have business insurance, make sure you set up all the different things you need for, you know, for everything across HR, you know, legal and finance. And that's what we did. We did it. We joined as early as humanly possible as soon as I found out this was something that existed and yeah, definitely have a look back. Definitely uh, has been a great investment at that time. So yeah, recommend it to everyone. Yeah, I mean, from my experience at Sequoia, you know, we saw a lot of early stage companies you need to have this foundation of operations, you know, built and set up, which is going to help the rest of your departments to scale and to thrive. So really for any company that has a founder that doesn't want to do all the operations work or knows that they shouldn't be doing it because they should focus really on building the best team possible to build the best product possible to bring in the most customers and, you know, grow their market share. They shouldn't be distracted day to day by focusing on these operation tasks that someone else can handle a lot better than they can.